you from a state title game, and that's the Ely Tigers. Joe Kayata joins us from Pompano. And thanks, Guy. I'm here at Ely High, where the Tigers are preparing for their District 5A semifinal game against Naples. And with this win, they'll be heading to the state championship for the first time since 1987. After a 9-1 regular season, the Ely Tigers have dominated the postseason in hope to continue their success against the defending state champs, Naples. But realize it will be a tough task at hand. It's been a long, grueling season, uh, uh, playing our 14th game Friday. So, you know, a lot of the kids are banged up right now, but they, you know, they know they're two games away from their goal. It'll be very interesting, I mean, two of the uh, two of high power state ranked teams, you know, battling it out. So it's going to be a great game. You know, we just have to stay focused and, you know, I mean, not make mistakes to hurt ourselves. One reason for the 11-1 Golden Eagle success is quarterback Josh Greco. He has beat defenses all season long with both his arm and feet, throwing for 1,352 yards and 18 touchdowns and rushing for 856 yards and 16 touchdowns. And you know that stopping Greco will be a big concern for the Tigers. We expect a tough battle, definitely. Uh, they have a real good quarterback, Josh Greco, runs the option, real efficient for them, and, uh, but we're expecting a tough game Friday. We got a lot to prove this week. We weren't, we're going against a very athletic quarterback. We're going to try to run that option or whatever against us. They're a good team. You know, I mean, we watched the tape. That was a very great uh, offense quarterback. You know, I mean, he's doing very good. You know. Ely has had some success in the past few seasons, but realized that this year's team is so close to finally returning to the state championship, a goal that has not been completed in 15 years. But now we're so close to it now, to it's almost knock, we're knocking at the door. We just, we just got to open the door. We have been working hard all year long, and we have been, uh, we uh, got there close last year and the year before that. So, I mean, this means a whole lot to us. Two years ago, we played Venice in the state semifinals, lost a close game, and now, you know, those kids, are they're real focused right now because they know this is their last chance for, for our seniors. Uh, to get a chance to get a state championship. While Ely's Tyrone Moss has gotten all the publicity this season after rushing for more than 1,800 yards and 29 TDs, he owes all of his success to his offensive line and defense. I mean, I just owe all the credit to the defense and my offensive line, you know. So far, it hasn't been so good, you know what I mean? I'm racking up yards in the playoffs now, so this season has been good so far for me. I think, uh, you know, Moss gets the headlines, but our defense is really the backbone of our team, uh, you know. If, you, if you're going to win a state championship, you usually have to have a great defense. I think we have one this year. And now that all the pregame preparations are over, it's game time, and I'm here at Ely High, where the Tigers will take on the Golden Eagles for a spot in the District 5A championship game. Ely's one game away from the state championship. Coming into this one pumped up. The Tigers jump on the board first. Tyrone Moss finds a hole and busts through it. Makes the move, stiff arms Waitley Etnine, and he's in for the long score, 7-0 Tigers. Then more Tigers, this time it's through D as Terrence Walker gets the diving INT off the Josh Greco bat. But the Tigers turn the ball over on this Tyron Moss fumble. The Golden Eagles recover, and that would set up this Josh Greco touchdown pass to Zach Johnson to tie things up at 7 apiece. Ely offense would not give up. They march right up field, led by sophomore quarterback Carlton Jackson Jr. He finds Corey Sanders. Then Tyrell Moss gets the ball, finishes off the drive on this six-yard TD. PAT no good. Ely with the 13-7 lead. The Golden Eagles had had a field goal before halftime, and the Tigers take a 13-10 halftime lead. To the third play of the second half, Tyrell Moss breaks this 68-yard TD for his third touchdown on the night, rushing for 250 yards. The Tigers take the 19-10 lead. Nabel gets the ball back, looking to put together a drive, but linebacker Cliff Session has other plans, picking off Greco's pass, taking it to the 13-yard line. And from there, it was QB Carlson Jackson Jr., who on fourth and 11 play calls his own number, takes it in from 14 yards out for the score. Each team would add another score, but the Tigers knock out the defending champs 32-16. Ely is heading to the state championship game against Tampa Wharton this Friday in Tallahassee. Finally going, and we're excited, but, you know, yet still, we still, we have one more game to play, you know, and we want to keep it in perspective like that. And, and, you, know, you know, we're happy we're going, but we still got one game left. This is coming from having faith in one another, knowing our assignments, playing with a lot of desire to win. We got to came with a victory. Been there like three years. We've been right in the door, but we just never got in. So it feels really great to actually go to the state uh, championship game. Now, now we there, and we going we gonna win this thing <laughs> for the community, for everybody, for the team. Reporting for the Fins TV NBC6 High School Sports Show, I'm Joe K.